Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Asher, and today we're going to talk about the safety of Glock pistols. Now, I've heard a lot of people say that I would never buy a Glock because there's no safety on it. And of course, by that, they mean, you know, a manual button that you can push that would render the firearm safe. Well, it may not have a manual safety, but I'll show you three features that make the Glock one of the safest pistols in the world. First, let me show you that I'm working with an unloaded pistol for safety reasons. There is no magazine in here, and this is an empty firing chamber. So this gun is safe and ready to be demonstrated with. First thing I need to point out to you is the trigger safety. There is a little piece directly in the center of the trigger that protrudes forward, which needs to be pressed before the trigger can be pressed. That means that the trigger cannot be pulled from the side or by inertia, say if the gun were to be dropped. So you have to get your finger on the front of that trigger before you can pull it to the rear. Second thing to show you will be inside the gun. On the trigger bar, which can be seen right here, there is a section of it that protrudes upwards. And I'm gonna show you as the trigger is pulled that that section of the trigger bar comes back and slightly upward. And that is gonna be pushing on that little silver button right there, which is the firing pin safety. Until that is pressed in, the firing pin is locked in place and cannot be moved forward. So you've literally got a steel block blocking the firing pin from ever contacting the ammunition in the chamber. Next and third, the firing pin itself. Pointing at the rear of it right there, it protrudes down. It's up in the video, but this is upside down. And it hooks onto this part of the trigger bar, that little cross, and keeps the firing pin from ever moving forward. So you've got three things in the Glock pistol. The trigger safety, this firing pin safety, and the rear of this trigger bar, all preventing the gun from going off until the trigger is pulled. Now on that trigger bar, you'll see that as I pull the trigger, that moves back and slightly down, releasing that firing pin forward. A great thing about this design is that you don't have to remember to release a mechanical safety before you fire the weapon. Some people argue that because all you have to do is squeeze the trigger, that there's really no safety at all. But remember, the safety features of this firearm are designed to prevent accidental discharge. The only way to prevent negligible discharges is if you follow the safety rules. Number one, always keep your finger off the trigger until you are pointed at the target and have made the decision to fire. Number two, always treat every firearm as if it were loaded. And number three, always keep your firearm pointed in a safe direction. Gun safety really depends on you and not the mechanical features found in your firearm. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. No, I'm just kidding, but really. I hope this clarified that Glock pistols are very safe and are one of the safest designs on the planet. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that follow button. Like button. My bad. See you next one.